What's up guys? I'm going to demo a quick uh, exercise and then uh, just talk about it for 40 minutes. What you just saw there was my take on uh, I, I just saw on the DeFranco Insider, which I've talked about in another video. I did like a like a review, more like a off the cuff discussion about it. It's a service uh, provided by Joe DeFranco and Jim Smith. They've had it for a long time. I've been a member for a long time, um, but they give a lot of cool exercises and workout videos and open forums and, um, and Q and A. Just really great, great service. This is not. This is. This is not related to the video at all, but it's a, a quick plug. If you want to get uh, Smitty, I talked to Smitty who runs it, and he said uh, he would give me a cut uh, for any person I refer. They don't have like an official affiliate program yet. But if you're interested in it and you want to get a discount, I'll basically I'll split the cut with you. It, you'll wind up getting basically like the first month. You'll basically wind up getting paid like five bucks for the first month if you do the math. So hit me up in the comments or, or go to my website and hit me in the contact me forum if you're interested in that um, and we'll, whatever, let's move on. So what this is, the reason I wanted to talk about them, I wanted to give them credit because Joe DeFranco, he was showing this, uh, something called the seesaw lat pull down. It's basically you take a lat pull down bar, a traditional lat pull down bar, and you pull it down like this and you pull it down like that and you can do, you know, bilateral, unilateral variations mix back and forth. Well, I thought... I got this, these spud econo pulleys, which I've talked about ad nauseum. I love them. Super versatile. Or if you have a, another, like a homemade pulley system at home, this would also work. Uh, basically what I did was attached a kettlebell to each one of these. Now I have those rogue kettlebells. I don't care. All the way up from 9 to 97 pounds. So it makes this very easy. Uh, if you don't have a kettlebell, uh, sorry, if you don't have pairs of kettlebells, then... Um, I'll talk about another workaround if you have the Spud Econo pulley system. The low and high, which basically comes with two pulleys. Um, so basically what I did, real simple, I took uh, the carabiner, I took this, this end nylon endless loop, just a circle, heavy duty nylon. I took the kettlebell, whatever weight you feel comfortable with, you just loop that around the handle, hopefully I don't drop this on my foot. Loop this around the handle, like this, attach it to the carabiner, do that on both sides, and then you can do this exercise. Or you know, you can do probably cable flies and press variations, all sorts of uh, stuff. Um, it's kind of like a poor man's, uh, um, oh, dang it, what's the brand? Okay, I'm having a brain fart, whatever, cable system, crossover machine, whatever. Um, but it works really well. I, I, I kind of started doing this with the kettlebells because I have only so many posts in here. I could probably just buy more, but posts in here for uh, pull downs and things when I have people working on pulleys. Like sometimes I might have somebody doing swings with that post, so that's tied up, or I have somebody doing deadlifts with it or whatever. Um, so I'll need extra weight to use for the pulleys. So I just thought, oh, I got this nylon strap, I'll just throw a kettlebell on it and it works fine. So, you know, the beauty of that exercise is you kind of get, uh, you get, uh, it's like a bilateral, it's a unilateral exercise with a bilateral flavor, or vice versa, you can switch it up. It's a way to mix it up, you can use it as, for anything really, a, a, a accessories, supplemental, finishers, whatever you want to do, you get great lat recruitment. There's something about, about hitting it from that angle, one arm at a time, for me anyway, it really blows the lats up, kind of like a you know lawnmower style bent over row, except it's just um, I don't know. Give it a shot and you'll, let me know. You'll see what I see what I mean. Uh, so I told you I would talk about a way to do it if you don't have kettlebells. First of all, I'm looking at these dumbbells right now. You could probably just throw them if you have dumbbells. To be honest, I've never tried this, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Just do those. Okay, there's a little little bonus I hadn't planned on to do it with dumbbells or 
Uh, every, as far as I'm aware, every uh, spud Econo low high combo, the one that comes with the two pulley systems, where you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it if you hook them up together, but you could also do them individual like this. Comes with one of these nylon posts, okay, so you put, just slide the plates on here. That's, that handles one of them. The other one, it comes with this gigantic nylon strap that I'm not even sure what it's actually for, but I've used it for a million different things. Like I said in, in a previous video, nylon straps are super cheap and they're extremely versatile. They're like fitness duct tape. You can do a million things with them. You know, it's good to have a couple of carabiners around too, but they turn basically anything in your gym into a weight or a handle. It's super easy. Take this nylon strap, Put it through a stack of plates. I'll just use a tw single 25 here, but you can as big a stack as you want. Like this, wrap that through, like that, and boom. Hook it up to that, go to town. As far as the handles, I talked about these before in that video, or like a million fitness products for less than $10 that I can't live without. Something, I can't remember what I called it. These are super cheap. I don't actually have anything nice. I should, but I don't. I will, but not yet. Uh, they're just, you buy them with like, they come with like those cheap like resistance band. See it on the wall somewhere over there. All those bands. It, a lot of the kits come with these things. Or you can buy them individually for like five, six bucks a piece. I'll try to put a link in there if I remember. Um, they're not super durable, but they hold up for most, most weight. I've used them, I've just abused those things and they, they hold up fine. It's just like heavy foam and PC, PCP, oh wow. That's a hell of a pre-workout <laughs> PCP. The secret to my success, my training success is angel dust. <laughs> and, uh, and water, well, I'm gonna stay hydrated. No, PVC, um, anyways, whatever. It's a cool system, check it out. I think I've just about exhausted every possible facet of combinations of doing it. Like I said, you could do it like the, the, the Franco way with a flat pull down bar. That works well too. Give that a shot, let me know what you think. You guys have a great day. Oh, subscribe to this channel. <laughs>